The Global Positioning System, GPS, is a satellite-based radio navigation aid. It provides very precise position information to the FMGS. The GPS network consists of 24 satellites in geosynchronous orbit that constantly broadcast position information to your onboard aircraft GPS. The aircraft have two independent GPS receivers. Each receiver is integrated in a modular avionics unit called an MMR or multi-mode receiver. GPS-1 receiver works with MMR-1 and GPS-2 receiver works with MMR-2. The MMRs process the data received and transfers the information to the ATERISs, which then perform a GPIRS hybrid position calculation. The FMGCs use this hybrid position to calculate the aircraft position. There is a GPS monitor page that you can display on each MCDU. This page displays the pure GPS position, true track, ground speed, estimated position, accuracy level, and mode of GPS operation. In the unlikely event that the flight crew does not want the GPS to be part of the position data, the GPS data can be deselected by use of the MCDU NAVAID page. Normally, the GPS-1 receiver supplies ADARU-1 and 3, while the GPS-2 receiver supplies ADARU-2. If ADARU-1 fails, then ADARU-3 continues to operate with input from MMR-1. In order to maintain Side 1 and Side 2 segregation, if ADARU-2 fails, the Attitude Heading Selector is selected to First Officer 3, so that ADARU-3 will be supplied with MMR-2 data. If one GPS receiver fails, the three ADARUs automatically select the only operative GPS receiver. The MMR operates in different modes, which are indicated on the GPS monitor page. The modes are Initialization Mode, Acquisition Mode, Navigation Mode, Altitude Aiding Mode, and Fault Mode. The initialization mode is entered when the hardware and software for GPS are initialized. The MMR acquisition mode, ACQ, is entered after power up or during long periods of lost satellite signals. The acquisition mode continues until the MMR is able to track at least four satellites, then transfers to the NAV mode. In an effort to enter the NAV mode more quickly, the MMR uses initial position, time, and altitude information from the IRS. This feature allows the MMR to quickly locate its position. The navigation mode is the normal mode that continuously supplies data to the ADARUs. It operates as long as four valid satellite signals remain available. The Altitude Aiding Altaid mode operates as a downgrade from the NAV mode. Normally, in the NAV mode, the MMR tracks at least four satellites, and it uses the GPS altitude and the IRS altitude to calculate an altitude bias. If the number of satellites drops to three, the altitude bias is frozen, and the MMR enters the Altaid mode. The Altaid mode uses the IRS altitude corrected with the bias. If the MMR does not acquire at least four satellites after two minutes, it reverts to the ACQ mode. The default mode is entered when a failure has been detected, which may prevent the MMR from transmitting valid data.
Let's review some of the ECAM fault indications that are related to GPS. The GPS-1 or GPS-2 fault activates a single chime and master caution light. It is inhibited during takeoff and landing for flight phases 4, 5, 7, and 8. The FM GPS position disagree activates a single chime and master caution light. It is inhibited for flight phases 1 and 10, which is when the aircraft is parked. The GPS primary lost condition does not provide an ECAM warning. You will know this problem has occurred by a triple click aural warning during a non ILS approach only. This alert is inhibited in flight phases 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, and 10. Therefore, it is available during cruise and approach. You have learned how the GPS interfaces with the aircraft navigation systems. There are no other controls or indicators for the GPS. Now, let's answer some questions.